Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting rain to episode 16 of Two Eternity. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. BTW, I am so sorry that this is several hours late, probably even a day late. Um, long story short, thunderstorm really, really bad here, um, to the point where I was just a about to start watching this episode and heard a big I was like nope turn my computer off so just in case you're wondering like because it's now 642 and I might this editing wise I might not get like an hour and 30 minutes maybe so I will try to get it out but at night if not I'll have it come out early tomorrow morning Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. Because after this, we're supposed to find out who he's going against, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you're drinking that now, but okay. Bear, girl, another girl, which you've already seen. Boy who breathes fire, which you've already seen. Mm, they're more like just there. Pussy. Yeah, like what you want to do when you're older even though like you have age but not as much to me you still look the same but when you was a Google yes Yeah, because in a way, you kids are like your own family. Hmm? <laughs> Sounds like kind of itchy nose. Yeah, Ari, what is your dream? 
That's kind of interesting. Surpass your dad. <laughs> well, yeah, it should be fine, though. <laughs> well, damn. They're just sleeping. <laughs> It was an accident. <laughs> I didn't think it would happen to all the food, though. Hmm. Even though Ari can, you know, be some type of way sometimes, she really is sweet. God, I hate the fact that I'm already attached to her and she's gonna die probably, and it doesn't hurt. Surprise your dog. I mean, damn, like in the broad daylight like that? Shit. Yeah. And then wanting to also get off the island. Excuse me. 
Yeah, because people are corrupt. They want someone, <coughs> excuse me, to control them. I mean, yeah, it's like the Hunger Games, and I hate to say that, but it really, truly is. Yeah, but you won't make it. You say that. Heck, any one of these people who are fighting for their lives every single day probably don't have kids. Maybe even have kids. Family, whoever. No, honey. So he did one. Oh, damn. Mm. Of course. That's fucked up. Uh, honey, oh, you know what? No, I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna wait until we get to the end of the episode to just talk about what I feel like still can happen. There were so many other kids who lost their parents. Hmm. I mean, you think that they would really, you know, at least give some shit about the kids and be like, oh, hey, if y'all want to go, damn, um, they could go, but no.
Still fucking hurts. Yeah, but you cannot fit in there. Oh, well, yeah, is that? <laughs> I'm glad you're still safe. Mm -hmm. And then you can get out of here and go wherever you want to go. Sorry. It's gonna be fine. Let's hope so, though. And there she is. <sighs> this fucking bitch. Wait, Fuji, don't be too reckless, though. You son of a fucking-
I mean, but hold up, wait, 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 I mean, cause she clearly cheated. <sighs> this fucking bitch. God damn it. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> I wanted him to win. The island. That's all I wanted, but no. This bitch from the past. Not only you fucking killed Piona, the best book, the queen. Like, oh my god, bitch. Woo, god. Like, I understand why Fuji saw nothing but red at that moment because I would too, especially when it's someone who you really truly cared about. Like, you, you not only killed her, but Marge, and you don't even feel remorse or anything. Like, oh my god, but, oh god, that couldn't be me, because you know, it'd be like, ba -da! and then that's it, mm-hmm, because mm, that's like the same situation of how <laughs> my mom and I were watching a zombie movie, this is like, I think, a month or two ago, it was the, I think it's that Zack Snyder uh, zombie movie that's on Netflix, and so my mom was like, if there was ever a situation where her and my dad had turned to zombies, um, she had asked me, would you kill us? I was like, hell, hell yeah! <laughs> goodbye I'll be like we have a moment real quick you know way before you change into the zombie but I'll be like hey I love you I'm sorry I will always love you I will never forget you I hate the fact that this is happening but you have to do what you have to do but this bitch this fucking bitch no See, also going into the backstory on Ari, I didn't think it was going to be that hurtful. Like, especially her mom getting killed, the the church in the town and everything, blaming it on her father and to the point where her father was being sent to where they currently are now, her father dying, and now being alone at a, a very young age and still, yeah, having friends, but at the same time, like, you, that is your new family and such. It kind of reminds me of that one episode of Bleach, you know, when, like, Rukia and Renji first met and then, you know, um, Rukia was hanging out with his friends and stuff like that. And so they made themselves, like, this little family. And one by one, the other three kids died and Rukia and Renji were the only two left. So to better themselves... And being this hell that they were stuck in for how many of her years they were um, there and decided, okay, you know what, let's just be soul reapers and, you know, try to better ourselves. This is kind of what these kids are doing because they are somewhere where they are trapped. And the only way that they can get out is, of course, if someone becomes a new leader and this is that and the third. But these kids have dreams. They want to get off this island. They don't want to be here for the rest of their lives. I mean, like I said, you would think that, you know, the leaders and everything, especially, like, whoever, by the time they get there, and plus the guards who are watching them would be like, oh, hey, you know, kids, you know, y'all got a choice. Y'all can either stay here, y'all can, you know, go back to the other side, uh, uh, on the other island back, you know, to civilization and everything, but, you know, you will probably be outcast there. And, and if it was me, I would rather take outcast because the fact is, yes, people are automatically going to say, oh, yeah, you're a criminal no matter what, but at least you're not in, a, in, in your own personal hell. This is these kids' own personal hell. They have to worry about their watching their backs every single freaking day because it seems like, yeah, possibly if, if some of these adults wanted to kill a child, they would do it in a fucking heartbeat. No remorse or anything. And the fact is that, you know, those two guys killed Ari's dad by poison. 
That that just tells you they don't. No one, a man, woman, or child, they wouldn't give a fuck about it. They would kill someone just to kill someone, and so you feel bad for these kids because they're like what under like in their preteens. And at a really young age. It just, it hurts. It hurts so goddamn much. And I hate this. But I really hope and pray that, you know, Ari and her, you know, her band of misfits are able to rescue Fuji. Because I need Fuji to kill this bitch. I need her, by the end of this damn series, I need this bitch to die. You killed two of the best fucking girls in this show. You gotta go now. Like, March, that fucking hurt. But, <laughs> be honest, like, best girl, the queen, who saved March, who, like, took March away, you decided to kill her. Fuck you, that's a big old fuck you. I, I hope, you know what, can we burn her, please? Because I, I would be happy. Shit, like, I'm just saying, that's just me. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 16 of To Your Eternity. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 17. Bye, guys!